Welcome all water fire signs. This is a cusp reading for chakras. Okay, guys. This is for Pisces Aries cusp, Cancer Leo cusp, and Scorpio Sag cusp. Okay. Let's see what's going on in the collective of water and fire for you. Let's see what's going on. Ooh. Your destiny is involved, talking about that crown chakra, needing that unity within yourself to find that destiny, go for that destiny. That destiny. This card is called is talking about what tools do you need to form your own destiny. Are you ready for your destiny? Are you taking the stand within a true love or anything that you want? Deep satisfaction and the ability to change. The keywords for this is love pathway faith. So making sure that you have the faith to do what you need to do, making sure that you are willing to, you know, self-sacrifice too, whatever it is you might need to self-sacrifice, um, right? Do I need to let go of something in order to fulfill this destiny? Um, sometimes we can't keep everything we want. Sometimes we have to let things go, right? Because they're in the way. Um, and I know a lot of people already had this happen. It's almost like... <laughs> For some of you, the universe, uh, you know, when uh, that Scorpio was conjunction with Uranus already made you let go of some things that you were trying to hold tight to, whether it was relationships, jobs, um, however, right? So, uh, and then of course we have this uh, Saturn coming into Pisces. Saturn is the planet of restriction in karma which will also probably give up some tower moments as well, um, getting you back on path, right? And I will be doing that reading next, guys, okay? So, um, but you have to make sure that you are watching your regular sign, uh, sun sign or your rising only. It only really values those two, okay? So, <clears throat> the failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn from. So learning from your mistakes on your destiny, as we all do, right? And once again, using that crown chakra to understand the failures. Understand and having the overall awareness, oh my gosh, this is what happened. Sometimes I have to get knocked down before I can fight to get back up. And having that opportunity to understand that. I love this too because it's also showing, you know, it's the stability of what you really need. Sometimes we do lose things and we have to start all over again, no matter from where, right? And then you have the heart over here, the heart chakra saying, but that's okay because I have the, I have the passion, the compassion, the love of myself, my family, you know, to do so. I'm not going to let it just tear me down. I see where my path is leading and I have to get there. And that's okay. We all fall. We all fall, but the most important thing is that we get back up, right? Get back on that horse. And that's what it's trying to tell you. Right? If you need to set boundaries and limitations, then get to it, right? For your protection, moderation, uh, using this numerology card, when Plus four is five, so it's talking about the change. Having the change coming through for the what? For the stability. This card, this reading is really all about your stability, about your destiny, about where you're going for your life, for your vitality, and using it in moderation. Be moderate. Pay attention. Look for the signs. You don't need to be rushing into anything. You don't need to be going too slow. You don't need to be going too fast. You need to just go with the flow and be moderate. Step by step is really what that is. Giving and receiving. Six for, for the overall happiness. I am adding numerology to this since we haven't gotten to the numerologies. <clears throat> Had a lot of camera issues this month, guys. I finally figured it out. This is a battery issue. <laughs> okay, so giving and receiving. This is where you can give to the universe and receive it back. So this is definitely a law and effect. What I give, I receive. And this is what you're really looking at. And that's what you really have to 
pay attention to is when we look at the failures, it's like, where did I mess this up? And giving back to yourself is, is a lot of the big things too. Don't forget to give it back to yourself. Right? And giving back to yourself is getting back on that horse. You fall off that horse, dust yourself off. If you have to cry, cry. Get it out. Scream it. But get back on. Don't dust yourself off. Kick the dirt and then walk away from the horse. Penguin. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. You can communicate this. We see all of the what? We see all of the blue. All of the creativity is coming back. We see so much heart chakra in here, guys. Oh my gosh. And so much crown chakra. It's like you know. You know, guys. You know what's going on. Your intuition is open. You know what's going on. You have the wisdom within yourself to know exactly what the hell is going on. So keep walking. I don't even care if you're doing the penguin walk, right? As long as you're walking that line. Um, and that's exactly what it is. And you're getting away from it. He's walking towards the love. He's walking towards all the green. He's going towards, you know, we'd say the light, right? No, you're not dying. Please, guys, don't add that. Okay. <laughs> Please don't ask me if you're dying. Every time I say towards the light, I always have somebody ask me if they're dying. No, you're not dying. You may have felt like you died when you had the failure, but you didn't die. <clears throat> and you're not dying. Okay? This, we're going to die. This is saying, this is where I didn't know anything, and I'm walking away from that. See, they're together. He's walking away from the failure. So even if you put them together, you would see that he's leaving the failure behind. He's saying, no more. And he's moving how? Oh my God, that's so crazy. He's walking towards that green, towards that moderation for the stability. So you could just see it this way. No more failures. I know where I'm going. I know how I'm supposed to get there and I'm leaving the failure behind. Anything that didn't suit me from my destiny, I'm leaving behind right now. So you want to leave those things behind. If you haven't started this process, this is what you need to look at. This is what you need to really get focused on. What is it that I need? And we really, really want to get this out here before this Saturn comes into um, your energy on like the 7th, right, of February. Because as it's moving through, it's going to be telling you, this is your good karma. This is your bad karma. This is this. This is that. I'm going to restrict you. So... You know, it's almost like spirit is like, and I want you to leave this behind now before this really starts happening and occurring. You can think back to all the years within your past, right, on how you can transit, how you're taking a transition, because that's what Saturn is going to make you do. It's going to bring in good things, and it could kick your butt, right? Of course, it's only temporary, but having it sit there for 2.5 years, you know, or three years, you know, kicking your butt into into gear, it's like, uh, I want to kick my own butt into gear. I, I don't want the universe to really 100% do that. Damn, you know, because we may have another towers, and it's like, dude, not again. We just did that. So this is saying this is where the abundance is because you're walking right towards the abundance. You're walking, walking right towards that. So get going. Get going. Do it. Right? So, clarifying on the failure and the moderation, the penguin and the abundance. What are we doing? At first, you're looking at kind of the dark side of wealth. So, you may have been thinking for some of you, not all of you, right, that maybe you were trying to get rich fast. So, you end up with financial failure. Some of you are just fleeting from financial fa failure or success, having the lack of stability and the lack of resources, however, right? So needing to get back on top. And this is where the failure is. This is where I'm saying I don't have enough. I need to be replenished. Right? I need that. There we go. I need that new beginning. I need the possibilities. I need, you know, to go in there with some blind faith, having some understanding that, you know what, this is where the optimism is, but I have to do this. I have to make the this, you know, kind of risk. This is kind of that risk where you know that horse was bucking, 
and he kicked you right off, but I'm going to grab that horse, hold the reins tight, maybe even hold on to that horn on that saddle, and you know what, I'm going to take the risk, and hopefully if he bucks, I won't fall. You know, it's a, it really is in some ways, though, because of the way the two cards are, that it's saying that it's so risky, that it's definitely, you know, a win or lose situation, but I'm going to, I'm going to uh, take it anyways by giving and receiving to myself, giving myself the second chance, not allowing, you know, my inner calling to say, oh, well, you're not going to take this or what? No, you're going to go in there, you're going to redeem yourself for your destiny. Absolutely, and have a recovery from the financial losses. And guys, if you know it's not financial losses, but most of it is, uh, you know it might be love, then get in there and get that love. <laughs> you never know, right? So, you're not going to resist any personal change. You're going to get in there and get whatever it is your destiny is. You're going to get in there, you're going to leave that crap behind, and you're going to say, you know what, no more baggage, I'm releasing it all, I'm going to throw all the baggage into the water, and just let it go downstream. Universe can have it, because it, I don't want it. Right? And this is going to bring the ultimate change, and look at that, for the abundance, here comes what? The progress, the expansion, the looking at the other opportunities. Moving your hand off the other two, saying, I don't even have to be indecisive anymore. I know exactly where I'm going because I have my hand on one wand. So I don't even need to worry about anything anymore. Because when we have indecisiveness, that means your hands are all over the place. <coughs> you're holding on to two things that no longer serve you, and you're saying no more. So manifesting. Manifesting the things that you really want. Feeling the development. Feeling the ambition. Going after that desire of that what? Uh, sacral chakra. Bringing that sacral chakra in. Now your chakra's here we go. This is going to open that sacral chakra and your, you know, yourself is going to be like, okay, then let's start getting that desire going. Stop being negative about the situation and let's move, right? In the right direction. Really putting it out there. Right? And getting that nine of cups. And you have that nine of cups coming. Right? This is going to bring in the satisfaction and contentment to your life. Will you get everything you want? You know, within a time base, you keep putting in the muscle work, but you do have the stability here and you're going to feel a lot more stable. And even if you're not seeing the money increase at this time or the love 100, I'll tell you where that stability is going to be. The vitality of feeling alive, feeling like yourself again, having the gratitude, feeling like you're actually on the right path, doing the right thing for your own destiny, being emotionally stable. Oh my God you're using the tools within going after those rewards you will feel rewarded because even if like i said you don't see them manifest in the reality of things just at this time it's how will i feel my chakras are all open i feel wonderful i can get out there i feel like i'm ruling the world i can travel maybe literally and if it's not then you're on an incredible journey through emotions feeling like you know what I'm alive, and I can do whatever I want. And that brings in that self-power. So feeling very self-empowered. Because over here, you didn't feel very self-empowered. The world was against me, right? Nothing may be going my way. Why does everything keep breaking? Why does this happen? Why does that happen? Why does that happen? No more of that. So transitioning away from that. And, you know, if the emotional baggage is other people's, problems that you're holding on to, old relationship baggage that you keep in your head, you're going to release all of that. And if you're holding on to people's stuff, literally, well, maybe Susie will come back. I got her sweater. Throw Susie's sweater away. Susie hasn't been here. Okay? Maybe she's ignoring you and she's not even cool anyways. She was cool, but she's not anymore. Right? And if you're holding, and then I got those people too who hold on to that stuff for grudges. It's usually, it's usually not fire, uh, water, uh, water fire signs though. I would say more like air water. But they'll hold on to that sweater for a grudge. Well, that bitch better come back and get her sweater. You know what? Don't make her do anything. Okay? Throw it away. You're like, that's what happened to my sweater. Knew she wouldn't give it back. <clears throat> now she's 
And you know what? She's probably not wearing it either, and that's the saddest piece. It's like, at least we're going to have it wear it. <clears throat> now, holding it for ransom. Okay. So, anyways, let's get in here, guys, and see what's going on. Your overall card over here. They need two, unless they can give us one really good one. Ooh, bountiful nature. Spending time in nature helps shift you into a higher vibration and reminds you of God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet. Meditate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limited, uh, limitless vastness. I love this card, actually. It's really cute. She's watering the flowers. That's so awesome. These cards are really cute. Okay, and it's really, you know, and then I love it again because it's saying it's going to bring in that higher awareness. It's going to allow your intuition to really start sparking as well as you're manifesting and getting, you know, yourself back into the powerful three within yourself. Okay, and I like this one too. It says quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you'll have more clarity about what to do next. Take that water sign within yourself and go and, you know, out into the nature and retreat yourself. Ooh, I like that. Okay. Until next time, my friends. Until Peace and love. Bye-bye.